It seems that Mako and the mermaids were not a dream. The three girls continued to turn into mermaids after touching the water. And while Emma and Cleo are more worried about what's happening, Ricky is enjoying this new underwater adventure to the fullest. The girls get together to talk about how their lives have changed. For example, Emma will not be able to continue swimming despite the years that she had been preparing for it. The trio come to an agreement not to tell the secret to anyone, as they may be locked up for study. Cleo can't even tell Louis. Also, among the things they cannot do is the party that Miriam, the popular girl from high school, organizes at her house just because it's a pool party. Cleo plans to go, but she knows the danger it supposes. By the way, it is a party in honor of Byron, a surfer friend of Emma, and the young girl also wants to assist. She's in love with him, although she doesn't want to admit it. The girls propose to see if they can control their powers and not become mermaids after touching the water, but Cleo refuses because of her fear of the water. In the middle of this, the girl is making Louis dizzy by telling him that she's going and that she isn't going to the party continuously. Cleo remains preparing to go to Miriam's party while Ricky gets a little angry with her friends because they constantly complain about what happened while she sees it as a privilege. That's the moment when she discovers what her power is, hearing the water. While Ricky is with Emma trying to tell her about her powers, Louis tells them that Cleo has gone to Miriam's party. The girls ask him to come there to take care of her. And yes, Cleo has gone to the party, but completely bundled up. Since she doesn't want anyone to wet her, the girl pretends to have a cold. But someone who is at the party is sane. The boy wants revenge for the soak of the other day, so he throws Cleo in the pool with the help of some friends. Luckily, Louis shows up and the rest of the people go inside the house before she turns into a mermaid. This surprises Louis a lot and although he is scared at first, he finally ends up helping his friend. That's when the girls arrive at the party, just in the nick of time for Ricky to end up drying Cleo out and turning her into a normal girl. Plus, a little revenge never hurts, so Ricky dries up Miriam's pool. When they are out of there, the three girls join Louis on the beach and Emma confesses that she's quit the swim team. They all agree that her secret can be bad at times, but it's completely awesome at others. And this is the end of the second episode of the first season of H2O Just at Water.